if you thought a fair increase at the TTC means that the Transit Commission's in pretty good financial shape, we're here to tell you differently. Live to Adrian Gobriel, who tells us that a huge budget shortfall could mean that the Transit Commission is breaking the law. Adrian. Gore, the province has given the TTC until 2025 to make all of its subway stations fully accessible, installing elevators like here at Dundas Station. Problem is, they're a quarter of a billion dollars short. By the year 2025, we will be, uh, in fact, breaking the law if we don't make our stations fully accessible. It's been a black mark on Toronto's subway system. How can we be a first-class city if we don't deliver first-class transit? Under provincial legislation, the TTC must make every subway station fully accessible by 2025. The problem? There's a budget shortfall of $240 million. And that means 17 stations won't be retrofitted, including Islington, High Park and Spadina along the Blur Line. You need at least 10 to 12 years in order to plan for a station's accessibility. St. George is a good example of an accessible subway stop. It has automatic sliding doors. It also has an elevator. 32 stations have these basic amenities. 37 don't, making the average commute for people with mobility issues a series of frustrating detours. Some who say they're being treated like second-class citizens. A lot of people that aren't disabled, they don't need elevators and they don't need the, the ramps and all the buttons to push to get in and out. They can go anywhere they want. We can't. Complete nonsense. There is no reason why TTC shouldn't be able to ensure that all of its subway stations are accessible to people with disabilities. Long-time transit mobility advocate David Lepofsky fought and won human rights cases against the TTC 20 years ago and calls the reported lack of money for accessibility a joke. TTC has publicly announced at public forums for riders with disabilities that they would have all those stations accessible by 2025. So why are they short now? The TTC board recently voted to use a $47 million operating surplus for a fare freeze. But council could still decide to spend up to three quarters of that on capital spending. Feeling the pressure, TTC Chair Maria Anjou Mary says the system also needs more help from the newly minted Liberal majority government. Big warning. I'm warning you that we're going to be in contravention of the law. Please don't allow this to happen, Ontario. Automatic doors, elevators, they're things that many of us take for granted as we head out around the city. But for many others, even a simple flight of stairs can be an impossible challenge. You see a wall of stairs, what does that say to you? Might as well be Everest, you know, for me. Like, bigger than Everest. Might as well be the moon, because there's just no way I'm going up there. A diving incident left him with a broken neck, leaving the 37 steps at Ossington Station insurmountable. He uses an elbow to press the button inside an elevator. But don't you dare typecast him as a paraplegic. He wants you to know he has a name. It's Blair Williams. I'm no different than you or anyone else that is literally walking on the street. The only difference is, is my legs don't work, that's it. I have the same wants and desires as anyone else and it's just about equality. We're heading west on the Bloor Line now. We got on at Bathurst Station, but the problem for Blair and for thousands of others is the next accessible station is five stops away. The commute from where I'm at at Dundas and uh, Ossington to Young and Dundas should only take 10 minutes, but for me, it's going to take me at least an hour. Stories just like Blair's are all too familiar. Can you get off at Ossington? No. Can you get off at Dufferin? No. Of Toronto's 69 subway stops, 37 are currently not accessible. Whether you use a wheelchair, push a stroller, or a walker, the TTC has been forced by the province to have all stations mobility friendly by 2025. But as City News has learned, they're a quarter of a billion dollars short, meaning they don't have the cash to build elevators and install things like automatic doors in 17 stations. You feel like you're unimportant? You're unimportant members of society? There are many who do care who are calling out the TTC's current state, suggesting laws that have defined equality in Canada 
are already being broken. The Human Rights Code, the Charter of Rights, all guarantee to everyone the right of full accessibility. And the TTC has openly acknowledged the importance of providing full accessibility. So frankly, they should just do their job. For Blair Williams, he'd just like to stop having roadblocks thrown up for him every time he wants to get from A to B using public transit. When you see people walking up the stairs, how frustrating is that? It sucks. You know, it's just a constant reminder of what I can't do. And I always try to focus on what I can do. Oh, as for what the city and the TTC can do, well, they've known since 2005 they need to make all subway stations accessible to everyone.